Did you know? English inventor Thomas Newcomen developed the first commercially successful steam engine that produced five horsepower in 1712. In 1781, James Watt patented a 10 horsepower engine that improved upon the original and the Industrial Revolution was born. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Anglers often say that it doesn't matter if they catch fish, just that they get to be out on the water. Well, we agree with that statement, especially when the fishing takes us deep into the marsh. Ah, the marsh. To some people, it may seem just a foul-smelling, middle-of-nowhere place to go spend an evening. But for most of us on Delmarva, we know it's the lifeblood of the estuary. Without the marsh, there would be no fishing or hunting or any of the activities we enjoy on the Chesapeake Bay. This evening, we're heading out with our friends Danny and Julia Wynn. And not only are they eager to be amongst the mud and grass of the marsh for a little peace and quiet after work, but they're also looking for some fish. We're going to try to catch some of these rockfish. We've been catching a few of them here the last couple of weeks, and hopefully they're still around. The water temperature's warming up. Since we're in the marsh, the water is not that deep, even at high tide. So you can probably guess what the winds are fishing with. Been doing really well on topwater lures early in the morning and late in the evening. And so we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens here. We got a little cloud cover, that helps with topwater. And things get off to a good start almost right away as Danny hooks into a rock just off the edge of the grass. go. Skunks off the boat. All right, let's get a few more, huh? But it's looking like we're gonna have to wait for a few more. Cast after cast and no signs of any fish. However, that doesn't seem to dampen anyone's spirits. When you're out here in the marsh, the only sounds to be heard are the calls of nearby birds and the whooshing of fishing rods and flipping of the bales. And of course, the topwater lures splashing along the surface of the creek. Slow, real slow. <laughs> uh, water's still up. We gotta have a little bit more water out of here. It's too much water in the creek right now. Mm -hmm. And it's still a little early. Danny decides to cruise back out of the creek, but ends up stopping along the way at a spot he thinks looks promising. As the sun gets lower, not only could the fishing get better, but the marsh is getting even prettier. It almost doesn't matter if you catch another fish or not. He's walking you now, isn't he? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a nice one, ain't it? All right. Thanks to Danny for capturing me catching that 25-incher. It's a good thing he stopped when he did. This evening, though, continues to be slower than usual for the winds. We aren't seeing any more fish on the way out of the creek, but we sure are enjoying the location. We keep harping on the beauty of the marsh, but it really is spectacular. Whoever came up with the term the golden hour surely had this in mind. There he is. Oh yeah. And it's the perfect time to get one. It's a great way to end the day. Now, whether we're talking about the fish or the location, we'll let you be the judge of that. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Coming up next, we check in at the scales for the fourth annual Kids Catch-All Fishing Tournament. 